Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Did you miss me? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I thought I would start off today's video because Chris and I are out for a social distancing walk. You know? Two meters. That social distancing. But I haven't been in a video in such a long, long time. And I'm sure you've missed me as much as I have missed you. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say hello, come in, do the intro for this video. And then Chris is going to take over and do the rest to explain. What's this video? The best settings for exporting, exporting from Lightroom, from Lightroom uploading into Instagram. So this is definitely not where I thought I'd be starting this video, but then as we're out in a little stroll, I thought I may as well do the intro here and mix it up a little bit because I'm kind of getting bored of recording in the house too. But yeah, like Christina said, just a quick little video just to tell you exactly how we upload our Instagram pics and get them as sharp as they are. We've tried a few different methods and we find this one to be the best. I can't see. A lot of you guys may be experiencing the same problems we've had for quite a while, which is having short pictures, exporting them, uploading to Instagram and realizing that they're just not as sharp as what you thought they should be. And it gets a little bit annoying because it makes your pictures look a little bit crap. But after some trial and error, we have found what we believe to be the best way, or at least the best way that we found so far. And that's what I'm gonna show you. But also here's a few pics from our stroll the other day because I want to share them in a video and we didn't do on that day, so. All right, we're in Lightroom and one little thing just before I continue on with this. When we came back from this little shoot with these pictures in the forest the other day, I did notice that the first few of them weren't as sharp as what our pictures normally are. And I was kind of a little confused because I had thought we had kept all the settings the same. And then I remembered that we were videoing a few little bits and pieces on the camera too. And I actually had the camera in the picture profile that we use for video which I believe is like Cine 2 or something and if you've watched like YouTube videos and stuff in the best settings for those picture profiles a lot of people tell you to turn the sharpness down a little bit and that's what we had done and I accidentally left it in that picture profile when I was taking pictures and that is what softened the images because the sharpness setting is turned down so that's why this image as you can see in Christina's face is not that sharp just a little well it's not really a little tip but don't make that mistake if you've set up your picture profiles um, for video with sharpness turned down and stuff. Make sure you change it before you take photos. That is all. Anyway, this is one after we had turned that setting off and you can just see how much sharper it is. It's quite a difference. But anyway, the best exporting settings for Instagram that we use on Lightroom are as follows. So I'm assuming most of you want to do the 4x5 aspect ratio crop, which gives you the biggest look on Instagram. I've talked about this in a previous video. But pick whatever aspect ratio it is that you want to choose. And yeah, pretty simple. So one other thing we do to get that really sharp look on our pictures is to actually sharpen it in Lightroom. And you can come down to the little detail section. Normally we have the sharpening between 40 and 50. I have mentioned about the sharpening mask in a previous video, but I'll just tell you again just before I move on to the export settings. And this is literally just to sharpen certain parts of your image. So if you're using Windows, just hold Alt on a Mac, I believe it is the option key, and drag this up or down until you get it where you want. Normally we want, obviously in this case, it's a portrait, so I would just want it to sharpen Christina, and there's no need to sharpen the background, it's out of focus. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Now let's move on to the export settings. Okay, so once you've picked your folders, you've named your file and stuff, what you're gonna to wanna to do is move down to file settings. Now I have watched quite a few different videos on people telling you what the best settings are to get the sharpest picture for Instagram, and it does vary a little bit. I believe some people do set their quality or in and around 60 because they feel like that is the optimum setting for Instagram. I've tried that, it definitely was better than what we used to do, but I've watched a few videos since and they've recommended putting the quality to 100. And I think that looks better. I think our images look sharper now than they did before. So I keep this at 100. And then the next thing and probably the most important step is the image resizing. Again, like we said, we've watched a lot of people showing different techniques of what to do to get the sharpest pictures. And most of them seem to say to resize your photo 
so that the short edge is 1080 because that's the exact fit for Instagram and that's what we did for a long time. And then recently I watched a few other videos that recommend it unchecking this box and just keeping the image at its full size and letting Instagram compress it down to the size that fits. And I think that works a lot better. Our images since we started doing this are definitely sharper than what they were. So that's what we do. We just leave this unticked and let Instagram do its thing. And then when it comes to output sharpening, what we do is just use screen and then low, which I believe is what most people recommend. And uh, that seems to work pretty damn good. And that's pretty much it. There isn't really much more to it when it comes to Lightroom. It's mainly those three output sharpening, image sizing and file settings. And if you use these settings that we use, I believe that is the sharpest that you can get your pictures on Instagram, or at least from our experience of trying a few different things and a few different settings. That's what we feel has worked the best for our pictures. And I'll actually show you in Instagram the few extra little things that we do that I think does help as well. Okay, so once you're on Instagram, obviously select your picture and make sure that you click this little button on the bottom left so that it actually displays your picture in the full size and doesn't crop it, which can be a little annoying when you realize that you've done that after you posted the picture, which we have done a few times. But after you've done that, obviously click next and this is where you can add a little bit of extra sharpness so that your image looks as sharp as it can. This is literally the only thing we do besides sometimes take the saturation down a little bit but scroll right over here to the right. So when it comes to sharpening, we would never really go any higher than 10 because I think once you start going higher than 10, you start to get that real digital photo look too and it just doesn't really look that good. So in and around 10, 8, 9, 10, somewhere along there is normally where we go. I'm gonna go 8 with this one and just click done and that's pretty much it. That is what we've been doing for the past few months on our pictures and I think doing it that way is the best way to get your images looking sharp as they can on Instagram. Like I said there is a lot of other videos that recommend doing different settings and we've tried them and it definitely helps but we found that this is what gets our pictures looking the sharpest when we post them so that's what we're going to be sticking with for now and yeah. So there you have it guys, hopefully those little tips will help you to export your photos much much better um, and then you will have crystal clear sharp photos for posting onto your Instagram feed. Thank you Chris <laughs> for those no wonderful problems. tips. Um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video guys, if you did give it a big thumbs up. It's just good to be back recording videos together again. Hopefully you like the pictures from our little photo walk through the forest. That was quite fun and we want to do a lot more of those now that we can get outside. I mean, hello, we're in Ireland and look at this weather. Pretty damn good. What? This never happens. It's literally so nice. So we're gonna try and get out and shoot, shoot. So we're gonna try and get out and literally just take pictures as much as we can and record some videos for you guys together again. Yay, <laughs> I'm so excited. So yeah. Give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And we, hopefully we, will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Don't be a stranger.